How are you guys doing? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. We're going to go over some puzzles. Okay, so queen to e6. Thicken the queen a3. There's queen a3, queen intercepts, or king moves. Then we check the king comes up to d7. Hmm. Oh, I like this. This move is it right here. There we go. You guys are more than happy to um, put in what you guys think. Okay, knight to g5. Knight takes g5. Hey, how you doing? Uh, so knight, knight takes g5. Bishop takes g5, bishop takes g5, queen takes g5. No, that's not what we want. So knight takes, bishop takes. Uh. We could play. Uh, Knight takes, then uh, knight knight takes bishop here. I mean, knight 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 takes knight, bishop takes knight, bishop takes. If king takes, then we can play the in between move of uh, check. We picked up a pawn. That that's an interesting idea. I heard something. Maybe knight takes, bishop takes, or bishop takes, knight, bishop takes knight. And we're throwing me. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's not it. Oh, it's knight takes. Huh, I have no idea why the other one didn't work. Let me, let's just take a look real quick. Let's see. Hold on guys, one second. Okay. I thought I heard something, it was nothing. Bishop takes. Oh, there, because, oh, I gotcha. Because then there's no, uh, okay. I see now why. 
Gotcha. Okay. It all was about letting the queen out. So we, we got, we're getting better at it. These are a little bit more difficult than the allied chess ones. I mean, they're both are, have their purpose, but this one uh, takes it out further. I like it. I also do alliedchess.org ones too, but we uh, I want to start doing these. As you can see, I don't usually use this one. I usually do uh, alliedchess.org. We're up to twenty six hundred there. So I gotta get this built back up to our 2600 level. With your guys' help, I know we can do it. Let's see here. Um, so queen there. I'm trying to see if we play pawn push. Takes, takes. Huh. He's going after this pawn for sure. So I'm thinking if we push here, pawn takes. If queen takes, check. Pawn takes, bishop there, that forces mate. There we go. Let's see here, if I play rook takes bishop, rook takes rook, knight takes, and pawn takes, we win the queen. There we go. So, queen pinned our queen. So, how do we do this now? since our queens have been pinned. I'm looking at potentially bishop d4, but then queen can take d4. Maybe queen takes queen, queen takes c5, knight takes c5. Pawn push. Which threatens discovery from the rooks. So queen takes c5, knight takes c5. So rook takes knight. If rook takes knight, f takes. Are we see our bit. Our queen is pinned. Our queen's pinned right here. So if we open this up, he could actually attack. Why? Well, I, I see what you're saying that. That is interesting, for sure. But it does shut down any of our shots of a discovery along here. So that, so that I agree with you. I like I like that. <clears throat> Cause then I then we think about this. Then we could take uh, so after here. Oh wow, that that is interesting, isn't it? Yeah, 
Yeah, that does work, because it removes the guard, doesn't it? <clears> hmm. <throat> Interesting. Yeah, because uh, rook takes knight, and then if queen takes queen... Rook takes queen... Pawn takes rook... Rook takes king. Huh. I don't know. Now that I think about it, I'm trying to I'm trying to calculate to see because if uh, if we play uh, rook takes e6, uh, queen takes c5. Ah, c5. Queen takes uh, f2. Check. Rook takes F2, and then F takes E6. I think our bishop's out of play at that point. I think we're down in exchange in that line. Yeah, e6, I, I like this line here. Queen takes, knight, knight takes c5, and then that. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. There we go. Oh, wait a second. We should go back. Let's see. How do you go back? We'll go over that. And we'll, I'll explain to you why. What happened here. Okay. Let's go over it. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. Log in for me. And then we'll analyze the position. Okay. All right. He played here. That's that was the idea. So if we played here right now, guys, this is what would happen: Queen takes, Rook takes, Pawn takes, and then when we trade off, he take back. We'd be down exchange. We'll go over that again. See, that's the proper takes. If we take here, and actually the Queen would take, like what we talked about. Uh, rook takes, f takes, and then if we tried to take, he could just take, and he's up five points. It's a, it's a totally ch uh, tide turner. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. So king to g2. Wow, he walked right into. I guess he has to because he's he got checked by our bishop. So we're kind of a, he's kind of a little stuck there. Oh, ah, too bad we can we couldn't play f5. I'd love to play f5. Uh, that's a fork. Does that win a piece? So, so f5, queen takes check, and knight to uh, g7. Does he have anything else besides a checks after that? I don't see anything. Oh, that's, that is an interesting move. Uh,
Yeah, I was looking at, I was trying to see if that could work. Sometimes Ginger GM says that what you can actually do is check an idea. Like, if we wanted that fork to happen, is there, and then what you do is you work back. So, like, what we did is we worked back. We says, ah, we want our pawn to be here on F5. How can we do that? Okay, what do we have to do for that? We have to give this up and intercept there. That's right. And that picks up a uh, piece. An exchange. Uh, no, a piece. Uh, yeah, picks up one piece because that's guarded twice. So our, our first intuition was right about um, how you have, we had the right forking idea. E5. I'm thinking it's potentially rook takes, rook takes uh, f6. Knight takes uh, f6 and then pawn takes and we pick up a piece because of, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think I think it has to be rook because we have to keep the pin here. Rook takes f6, knight takes f6, and then pawn takes. The bishop pins the the knight to the queen. And so yeah, this you know, I'm thinking uh, rook takes f6, knight takes f6, and then uh, d takes. Uh, e5. But uh, this right here, bang, knight takes bang, takes this knight that's here is pinned to the queen, so we pick it up with check. Queen has to move, and we actually pick up a whole rook in that line. Watch and see. Kaboom, baby. We pick up a whole rook. Because when the queen has the queen, if it moves, let's say over here, we take a bishop takes knight and that rook will fall. Yeah. Good job, guys. We're doing it. Oh, right. End game. You gotta love it. End games. Let's see here. Okay, he's trying to get his pawn. White's trying to get their pawn past, past pawn. So let's see. Um, let, first of all, you got to calculate to see if we can get our pawn uh, queen first. Okay, so h4, c4, uh, c5, h3, c3, or c6, h2, c7, queens, queens. Okay. So we actually queen would check. If we move, he can't really, let's see, if we actually played h4, he may have to take, he couldn't actually push, we'd win the, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking h4 as well. Uh-oh. Oops, one second. Oh. All right, let's retry that again. The reason, you see, if we drew a, uh, we're four squares away. Let's see. We come right here. Do you see it? how uh, Grandmaster Seven Williams says to do it is, I'll show you. We'll, uh, we'll get this one uh, 
Okay, we'll do this and I'll show you how you can uh, look at look at this. Okay, after we take, then he takes. What you can do is draw a uh, a triangle, and uh, if the king our square, if the king can enter here, any one of these squares along here, uh, in the red, he's inside of the square they call it. And so when we uh, push the pawn, he cannot enter that because it, the squares have moved to here. And so there's no way he can enter. Into this area here because this is all he can move to. And that's why he tries there. And that's why it gives us the free move. So that if he tries to move in, let's say he moves here, right? We come and now what we do is we, we can shorten the, the square again. And continually he can't move in because he's not in there. <clears throat> so he can't do that. Let's say he pushes, we move in. And then if he tries to come in to stop it, we push up. And now this is the new square. And there's no way he could stop the pawn from queening. He can't get there. And of course, we pick up the pawn at that point. All righty. We got to remember that for our end game uh, play. T. Uh, this is Peach T. Okay. Let's see here. Basically, our queen checked the king, and the king went to h uh, seven. I'm thinking about knight to g5. See, so knight, knight g5 check, pawn takes, and then bishop checks. If the queen comes up here, we bring the, I mean, it's not as queen. Knight g5, h takes g5, bishop goes to e4. If the king comes up to h6, we bring our queen over, and we mate, because the bishop guards this, the pawn guards this, and all we need is a check, and we get a check along here. So knight, knight, uh, g5, h takes g5, <clears throat> and bishop checks. So let's say he pushes uh, g6. What we do then is play uh, queen takes uh, F7 and now we're threatening mate so let's see let's make sure we do this right okay um, if we take do we let him out of the box If we take with bishop, he actually can block, and then we don't have any more checks anymore. If we take the bishop, we check. If he he if he comes over, we can actually if we play queen takes pawn, we're threatening mate at that point. Queen, I, I, it might be Queen takes G6, and does that actually threaten uh, checkmate? I don't think there's any way to stop uh, Queen takes G6. Yeah. 
Oh, you're kidding me. It's just grabbing the bishop. Huh. I want to see that. That is puzzling. C7. And if we grab that, it comes over here. <coughs> Queen takes, can get faint, and then he runs. Okay, so bishop, and that guards, that stops this, and there's no more. Uh, Stopping there because the bishop guard and the queen guards that square. Okay, yeah, ouch, that's okay. Okay, dokie, let's see here. So queen to f3. He's threatening to checkmate on g2. Of course, you guys uh, see that. So there is no uh, time to waste. We could actually, I believe, pick up a piece by queen. Oops, by queen to c8. King moves, and then we pick it up. And I. Can do we actually? Let's see here. We we can move our king to f two, and he really can't come here. If he goes there, we take takes. We're still up a whole exchange. I'm thinking of Queen C2 attacking the knight. And the knight's uh, basically trapped. Queen C2, pawn takes, and then Queen takes um, the knight, and we pick it up.
let's see, uh, queen check, king h, oops, no, queen can't check there because of the bishop would take. So if we try to check here, <clears throat> there's no way to come back and check here. Uh, no. Thinking about playing rook to uh, d uh, d five. Let's retry that one. bad there. <laughs> Click the wrong one. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Tactic time. So Bishop takes check.
Yeah, I'm thinking that potentially King F1 with the threat of uh, checking right here a fork might be a <clears throat> the idea. There's also queen takes f2, queen takes f, actually queen takes f2, um, queen h to check. So queen takes uh, f2, queen takes f2, king takes f2, rook takes f2, and it's equal material again. Uh, he, 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 we're one pawn up, but I don't know if that's enough to um, give us, because it would be two bishops versus uh, two rooks, and I don't know, I think it would be equal. So, I don't know if that's the move, but if we go king f1, rooks don't do anything. The king f1, if rook h1, we play bishop takes, and then if he tries queen g1, we actually play uh, king to e2, and if rook comes over, we can always intercept with our our other rook there. So we should be good to go. King f1. Let's see. Let's let's time this race. So h4 takes there, 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 there. Nope. But if we play b6, king takes b6. One, two, two. two. We queen before he does. And we queen on this diagonal too. Kaboom. Let's see, pawn push. If put out there, 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 a queen would check and we win. So now we can actually run to uh, c3. He can't take this because then it's so c3, king takes one, and then we queen. He's out, out of the queening problem. So here, there, and there we stop. There's no way to stop the, uh, the pawn from queening. If we play rook takes, uh, rook takes the knight, pawn takes, and we take the queen. So we would actually pick up a queen in this line. So rook takes e3, pawn takes e3, and then rook takes queen, and we'd be up a queen. So rook takes uh, e3, d3, uh, rook takes, well, then we just move our queen and, and we're fine. Yeah. Let me see here. Uh, do, 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 do.
Now this this is a this is a interesting one because he's got a knight that could sacrifice itself for a pawn. Been in a position like this before. Sometimes the best thing to do is just to move your king over. Don't grab that pawn. Don't worry about the pawn. And then when he takes, we can actually push and queen. Because I'll show you the problem if we didn't do that. Uh, we'll get we'll go to a board analyzer. What'll happen is if uh, if we took here. He, he can actually then, let me see, I believe, let me see, I was calculating this right, let's see. Let's see if we, okay, we could take. Trying to see, how, how does that? 90, oh, it's 97. I knew, I knew there was something with that then. If we went D6, king takes E. And then uh, if we take, he takes c6, there we go. And it's a draw. But king d6, it stops the point here and there. And at that point, we get one move. He has to take, we push, he has to move back, and then he, we're one move queen ahead of him. We can even take the knight if the king comes. Let's see here, what would be queen h6, check. Oops, sorry, king d. And then queen c1, and now, now if you can get it in front of the pawn, so like let's say we he can't move here. Well, he could he could try there. We get in front of the pawn. And if he comes back, now we can just grab that. He has to stay with the pawn, and we can just go. We can move our pawn up the board. Okay. Yeah, it was it was a nice move. You know, you gotta. Gotta see. That's why I like uh, chess.com. I like I like chess uh, puzzles as well, but I like how um, chess.com. You have to work it out. You actually have to work it out. Long distance. It's not just hard problems, which are good. These are more tournament over the board problems that you're gonna face in everyday chess and an everyday chess game. So. I remember this puzzle from somewhere. I believe that knight here picks up the the queen because there's no other place for the queen to go to. See, knight takes e7 check. Is there any way we can trap this queen? Because we can't go d, uh, d4 because queen takes c2. And that ruins everything.
Let's see here. If you guys see anything, tell me. I'm seeing knight take c7 check. King moves and maybe we take the bishop. B3. Huh. But couldn't he play if we did that line though? There, this that's a good move. I I like it. But there's a one thing that I was looking at. Could he after that? Can the queen play takes um, d3? Queen takes d3, which would be um, after bishop e here. If we played rook up, the queen that was here can actually grab this. But I guess the queen could would be trapped, wouldn't it? Huh. Maybe it maybe it is. I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, I have to continue on that line one more. You're. I think you're right on that. The continuation of that I needed to have uh, looked a little further was uh, uh, rook d2, and I believe I believe it's believe the queen's trapped at that point. Needed to go one more move further. Uh, and I believe I believe you're actually right in that line. Because the rook f2, he can't really come over. If he takes, you can actually play rook d2. And I'm thinking that that picks up the... Or uh, my missing... I think, uh, I think it maybe the queen can retreat to c4, huh? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Boy, that's a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Thinking of uh, this is kind of odd though, bishop to uh, here, but then knight would take. See so bishop here. If knight takes, bishop takes. King takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. No. Oh, we're in check. <laughs> oh, that would that would help. That would help.
Dude, I'm thinking you're right on that. Trying to see, do we, do we have a? What, what can we actually play here? Shoosh. This is a tough one. Yeah, queen takes and then b uh, knight b four. B two. Hmm. Huh. Let's let's give that. I think that's more close to. gonna switch it to uh, I'll be right back I'm gonna switch it to uh, not unrated so that we don't lose any points and I'll pull up a puzzle for you guys to look at while I'm gone so go over this puzzle it's unrated so it's there's no time so not to worry about it take your time I'll be right back
Did you guys solve it? Let's see if we can solve this one. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got. And we will work through it together till we do. Let's see if we play rotates G2. So rotates G2. If we go check. Comes up, I guess we go there, check. got to be fast so i believe it's rotates only problem with queen uh, well that yeah, does that does handle it doesn't it because if he tries to block you grab oh nice 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 work yeah nice 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 then then you finish it off with that yep nice job nice job Okay, we'll turn it back to ra uh, rated. All right. Uh, okay, and let's start one up right now. There. Oh, nice. End game. So close to almost getting him mated. I'm thinking G4. I'm thinking G4. Uh, I'm not sure what. So a question mark of what uh, white's going to play. So I'm not sure what black's going to play. Uh, and then we have uh, F3 I think is made if I'm not mistaken. Oops, I gotta put sign of mate. I'm not sure what what uh, black what black's gonna move, so that's kind of why I put a question mark there. That equals mate after after here, whatever he moves, we're just gonna play there. It's mate. Yeah, it's the side. It's those. You have to stop the king from getting away, and that's really the way that we could. Let's see here. Uh, oh, it's too bad we couldn't. Uh, it's too bad this knight wasn't here. We'd have mate in close to two, I believe, or three. It'd be here if this knight wasn't here. Here, king goes there, the bishop comes, pawn has to intercept, 
and then we can actually take uh, yeah I think we can yeah take can you come back and then we can come up and we'd have mate oh, this night is a pain if only this night wasn't here we'd have mate so is there any way we can Is there any way we can do anything better? Ooh, that that would work too. And if we take that, that actually work too as well. Well, well, if we did that, he would take takes. He, we he'd be up an exchange a whole. Uh, he'd be up two exchanges. I think first we have to check and then take the bishop. Oh, ouch. Oh, so we prepare that. Let's try that again. And if he, if he tries to come here, he can't. Oh, that's a sneaky one. Very sneaky. Yeah. Very, very sneaky. Hmm. Let's see. King takes B4. Takes B4. King G2, there, there, Trying to see if if King takes here. He can't push because we would actually at that point check here and take Sack or Knight. So King takes before King G two there 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 Queen Queen check if he moves here or if he moves down. We actually can do a check, huh? Yeah. Oh, no way. Wait, let me see. What am I missing here? Yeah, you got it. Let's do that. Okay, that makes sense. That's my fault there. 
Okay, let's see here. So if we take there, then then here, because if he takes, then we can actually at this point push. I kind of see now why. Let's go, let's analyze over this. Okay, takes. So king here. If he takes one, if because of, uh, watch. Boom. There we go. And we, we draw the queen, yeah. go let's see here so root to be one yikesies yikesies Let's see, okay, if we get there, knight takes, and we don't have anything. Hmm. So root takes B, I'm thinking it's root takes B2, Rook takes B2, and then Bishop takes uh, C3. Here, there. What do you guys think? Rook takes B2, Rook takes B2, Bishop takes forking those two. What do you guys say? What do you guys think? Rook takes b2. That's my idea. Because then the rook takes back and the bishop, we pick up material. Okay, I'll give you. See how we're doing.
can be four. So can be four, can d six. There takes up one, one. Let's see, okay. Okay, if we go b5, pawn takes b5, king up, one, two, one, queen, okay. Okay, we'll stop here, then we'll go over a, uh, a game between Gadakomsky and uh, as white, I mean bla as white, black, and his opponent as um, uh, El, El Don, I don't know how to pronounce this gentleman's name, I apologize, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> So d4, d5, knight. Then we're going to go over the London. Because we went over the French for a while. We need to kind of re-up our London. e6. Now that's c, c4, queen pawn. Knight, b. And then have you noticed that they're just, they're attacking because this is happening. b6, knight f. And now we're uh, playing pawn takes, bishop takes. And just look at the patterns. Watch the watch the patterns, because these are the patterns that win for uh, black. I mean white. Bishop takes. This is so that if he ever gets a little sassy, we can just uh, retreat back there. Now we got this coming down the pike. A4. Get the pieces rolling in. Now we got an outpost. It takes. Five. Okay, F two. Let me see if how's our stream doing. Perfect dose. And then King to E seven. Or yeah, King E seven. And our idea should be based around the majority versus the minority attack. So we're gonna probably want to play there. I did play there, and then we're gonna probably want to lock down. Hey, there we go. Now we have everything solid. And B5, which is a mistake. It's hard to see how this move's actually good. You have seven. Because if uh, bishop takes, 
and we can actually come up and now this is fraction oh my bad can't do that see that's the kind of that's the only odd thing about that is that you know D5, D5 to attack the king or the pawn. So the knight comes in, pawn takes, takes, takes. And B5, not a blender, but a mistake. It's actually a blunder on uh, White's part. Rook d7 actually wins because then there's no way for the knight to enter in to get here. So. And if queens, and that takes. Probably takes. Probably takes with a rook. Something like that. So I'll do some more tactics. C2.
Let's see why that is. Actually, we'll just retry it. I just want to know why that's the right move. See that now. Trying to see if night, night here doesn't really uh, accomplish anything. Let's do one more. I should have went with our gut on that one. Gotta talk it through. go. Let's see rook uh, c8 to so rook cc2. C8 to c2. Um, 
baby. See, check. If it comes over. If it comes here. I come up, check, and we checkmate him. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, ouch. That hurt. That was not good, so we gotta slow down. takes a five check we don't have any follow-up See, I'm not sure. Let's go over this game here. Let me see here. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Actually, we want to go to do something else. That's right. We're gonna do some end game drills. Let's do some end game fundamentals. Okay, I'm going to give it a shot, put, put it in. That's how I should go back. We're just going over some uh, end game uh, studies on chess.com. Okay. takes e4. Huh. So they're going towards a endgame pretty fast. Interesting. So, um, if you notice that this is the idea and also trying to dominate with probably the knight. That is true. And now we notice the bishop just didn't move. It made sure the engine made sure that it was at its optimum spot. A three. Now this is under protection here, over here, and then maybe down, something like that. King e2, so king e2 right away. Let's do one. Wow, pawn, uh, pawn storms galore there. Bishop C3. Knight takes. And then you got the fork. Gotta love that. I 
I can't wait someday maybe that Alila can go against uh, um, Alpha Zero. That would be a match for the for the engine record books right there. Bishop uh, A5. Sweet tasty. Sweet tasty. It's already Lila's already defeated uh, Stockfish uh, nine, so I I think the next competitor Lila should go for, in just my opinion, is Alpha Zero. And then if yeah, I think then uh, that that would and then after she probably defeats Alpha Zero, she'd be the uh, the engine that engine would be the strongest engine in the world. H six, because the uh, Leela is getting stronger by by the days. I gotta say, I don't. I think the engine's almost ready, in my opinion, enough to face Alpha Zero. But I think that I hope someday they do. I think Leela would have had a very good chance at winning. Bishop Queen Five. That that'd be a game to actually go over those games. That those would be games to go over. Leela versus Alpha Zero. Wow, that would that'd be such informative games there. Uh, G takes H six, and then Knight D four. <clears throat> Stockfish, yeah. King e3. And bishop to d6. Wow. This this is power defense from black, if, if I haven't seen it, seen it myself. It's trying to fracture all of white's pawns so that there wouldn't be anything left. B4 is an interesting idea. And and this taking the knight, giving up uh, the opposite color. White, black's trying to do one thing: disintegrate any of uh, of the Lila's attack by doing this, and then potentially trading down to where it's mainly a draw. So d uh, knight d two uh, d seven bishop d six rook c three and now yeah it's all over this this is basically almost all over g five is the next move yeah wow only move to save is h. F4. Now this pawn's gonna collapse. H4. Rook H1. Now, now we're going after the pawns. <clears throat> and then we just grab a pawn. Kaboom. Can okay, G7. Nice. We're going in here. G6. And then knight to F uh, F6. Knight takes, and then G takes, and what is? Uh, Black have to show for it. Nothing but a king weak and about to get checkmated. H5 is forced. Rook G1. King H6. Rook G2 H. King G6. Rook takes. King C1. Trying to somehow distract this. And it's not going to happen. We're just coming up here. Rook G1 to hold. Basically, it's all holding there. And then uh, Bishop takes. Check. It's forced. And then Rook to. Uh, let's see. B1 is trying somehow to get this going. 
say five to hold and then next we're implementing and this just helps there's mate nice job that was a good one you said you had another uh, one you'd like to look at yep All right, so this is just, uh, this is a straight up F4, uh, okay. And F3. Let me see how we're doing. Okay, good, good, good. Castles, castles. B5. A4. Yeah, every once in a while I want to make sure, yeah. Oh, black. Gotcha. <laughs> I was so into the game, I. F yeah. Yeah. B4, my BD2, and castle uh, kingside. Wow, I gotta say that a lot of uh, attack here for Leela for sure. The pawn structure really favors expansion on the queen side, so I'm gonna say that the majority of the play is gonna be. Oh, so black's changing their pawn structure potentially. This stops and there's there's only one point of entry that's prevented. And now if he pushes Actually we could just play there if he retreats back. Actually, something like that, but I don't know. White doesn't know what to do. Black's attacking the queen side and the king side at the same time. That's pretty impressive. So if we take here, he takes, and uh, knight takes back with an attack. So the pawn gets pushed. So he takes D, D, and then knight comes in. Now we have three attackers on this pawn. Knight be uh, b3. Now we take and we're attacking the queen. Now the knight's pinned. That's a good move. I like that move. Why is that a good move? Oh, picks up a. Oh, it's because this is okay. Ouch. Okay, uh, now I see why that was played. Okay. <laughs> hey, that now that makes sense. You have to ask those questions though. Knight e5. There we go. Boom. 
and now the pawns are starting to uh, start flowing up the board. Yeah, we're trying to get out from this here. We don't want any chance of our queen getting pinned. Oh, nice. Wow. Wow, there are two pieces up here. Snap, a Rooney. Wow. Whoa, that's two pieces up. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. That's total pummeling. That's a pummel. Boom. Wow. Yeah, this is just punishment. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. Total punishment. I gotta give it to White, though. White did do their... The engine did its best to hold... There's no way to now stop. And if he tries this here, you get in behind. And so we want to get our knight here. So if he tries pushing, we can actually play here if he pushes. Gonna have to take there. See if we can't do a pretty good mate here. Okay, go there, okay, go there. There's only really three spots to go to. Boom, baby. You have to learn how to mate with three pieces, and that's a perfect example of how to do that. You deprive the king of space, then you push for it. Okay, do you guys got it? You have another one? You said you had another one? Let's see how the stream strength is doing. Good. So far, so good. It's holding green. Uh, just want to make sure everything's good on it.
where King let's see we'll check to see if uh, so okay if we play there then we uh, I guess King F3 die about here he uh, he can't enter here because these are covered by the bishop see and then this rank is covered by the rook so the only move that he that uh, uh, king can go back is this here so this is the only uh, moves that the king has <clears throat> that's that's why he couldn't go to f uh, four f three. Gotta love the combo of that. Okay. Let's say that he, like what you're saying, let's say that he goes d2, right? Let me see. How can we uh, deprive our opponent of space? Probably my first move would be there. If he plays here, I want to play if he comes over here. Now we, we have him in the same box. See, is there any way we can mate him any quicker here? Then we can uh, bring that the knight in to cover these two squares. So he'd have to move back. Then you check there. He only's got one move there. Then we just deprive him of space. Check. And then we can actually, I believe, I'm not sure if we're close to me yet. Got to be careful that we don't stalemate. So we, we need to get our king, uh, our knight here. Well, our knight. Hmm. I'm trying to see how can we checkmate. Okay, that that's it. Do you guys have any other moves you'd like to, uh, uh, any other games you'd like to go over? Let's see, how's the stream doing? Perfect. We'll go over a, uh, a 
couple of tactics on uh, chess.com and then I got a log there we go let's see how are we doing here okay dokey we need two I'm thinking queen b uh, b2. Oh, not queen b2. Check this out really quick. See what did we mess with? Uh, probably the king. The rook could just go to g1. Okay. But maybe one. And then takes. Ah. Uh, okay. Gotta try that again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay focused, stay focused, don't rush, no rushing. end on a positive here guys come on can't move the knight because if we did the rook would come take this we can't we can't play something like this if you're wondering about that the rook would come and grab this If we played rook takes knight, if knight takes knight, we have mate there. So rook takes knight, king takes there, check. The king moves takes, takes. Side. If we check with our knight e uh, e two, the king moves. We take the queen. Rook takes check. King comes up. Do we have enough compensation for that?
Yeah, I think we do. Oh man. Come on, let's, let's uh, well, they've got to get this one. Come on, come on, come on. We're so close to, we got to focus down and get this. There we go. We'll end on that one. Uh, do you have, uh, Fox, do you have any questions on any of the Leela games that we went over? Any questions on any of the Leela games we went over? Before I log off. I'll give you guys a second. I'll give you guys one more minute because uh, there might be a lag. Do you have anything, Fox, on this before on any of the Lila games you showed me? Give you guys a minute to put in there. questions at all guys on the Leela games or any, or any of the puzzles kind of set up okay I'll take that as a no okay guys gotta tell you you know what we gotta remember learning uh, losing is sometimes part of the learning process we have to keep uh, we gotta remember what Simon Williams says that you have to restrain and then attack, restrain your opponent's mobility, and he says also, any plan is better than no plan at all. And knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. So we got to and remember, we set our own, we set our own plateaus where we're going to be, and we have to keep pushing forward, and not. Uh, don't give up, okay, guys? And we have to remember that uh, Hannibal Smith, he made probably a lot of mistakes at, when he was training to become a colonel. But he ended up becoming a colonel, and he's part of the A-team, so that's cool. Remember, coal under pressure becomes a diamond, a sword sharpening after it uh, is done is a very good uh, thing to have when for protection so just keep that in mind where uh, as, as the Bible says we're sharper we need to keep ourselves sharper than any two-edged sword so our minds our minds okay and remember the Lord's always going to be with you and keep pushing forward okay and I'll leave you guys with that that thought as this as well. 
and we hang up our coat, we hang up our hat, and we sit down, and we do the studies that most won't, and we will get better. Okay, as Wesley so says through the Lord Jesus, as I say, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow, and we'll go over some more um, games of players. We'll uh, do some puzzles, and if you guys got games, bring the games on. Okay, great job. Go Team Chess Cruncher. Hoorah. Bye-bye, guys, and be blessed. See you tomorrow.